what we uh, explored was the ability of thin graphene sheets, and represented by this uh, black film, uh, to stop a projectile represented by this uh, ping pong ball. And the uh, size of the actual projectile, it's a micro bullet, it's only about three microns uh, in diameter. A human hair is around 50 microns, so this is considerably thinner than, you know, like a tenth of the size of a human hair. And the thinness of the membrane is also down on the scale well below a human hair. And the size of this sphere relative to the thickness of this membrane is about what we do in our experiments. And we shoot this sphere at a very high rate, uh, around a kilometer per second. So uh, bullets typically are below a kilometer per second in speed. And this sphere, at these high rates, carrying kinetic energy, impacts this thin membrane, presses against it, pushes it forward, and a cone of deformation develops with the sphere at the center. And because graphene is very, very strong, and it's very, very stiff, and it's very, very low density, this cone spreads out to quite a distance in the material. And the kinetic energy of the sphere is transferred to the membrane before it pushes through and then eventually exits on the other side. And in our experiments, we can measure the velocity and therefore the kinetic energy of the sphere in front of the membrane before it hits and after it's passed through the membrane, and therefore calculate the difference in those two energies as the energy that was required to pass through the membrane. And when we compare the behavior of graphene thin films to that of other materials, for example, uh, steel, on an equal weight basis, graphene is 10 times better than steel at absorbing energy out of micro bullets. So one of the um, uh, characteristics of a material that is dissipating a lot of energy is the amount of material that's involved in the, uh, in the penetration event. What we've shown here in these, these images is uh, a material which doesn't absorb very much energy. Uh, in this case, uh, it just has a circular hole the same size as the sphere, where the sphere penetrated through without losing much energy. And uh, also, we have pictures of the graphene films, which are much stronger and absorb much more energy. And you can see the extensive damage, which is in an area uh, several diameters uh, of the sphere, uh, bigger than the size of the sphere. Uh, you could kind of demonstrate this at home when you uh, wanted to look at, if you're trying to punch through a piece of paper, it will make a small hole. Whereas if you push uh, against something like a stretchy piece of saran, uh, wrap will deform a large cone and then eventually punch through, but the deformation of the film will be much more extensive and the energy it took to push through the saran, if it was on the same thickness as the paper, would be a lot more. We've understood some of the principles of what makes graphene such an excellent protection material. And because graphene is so lightweight, it could be employed for ballistic protection for the warfighter and even in satellites and the space station for protection against micrometeorites.